Hello. We are uh, quite happy to again bring you a new version of Yavi Pro, version 8.2. Now in the release notes you will be able to see the various innovations uh, that we bring into uh, this version, but especially we will um, have solved in fact the most difficult item in uh, using Yavi Pro to set the bitmap origin. Not only that, but even better, we have the function where you will be able to work in an AutoCAD file as if you would have AutoCAD on your computer. That is fabulous, you'll see. On starting up of the program you see that uh, okay, some windows might be a little bit bigger, uh, some text uh, might be somewhat bigger on the screen. This is due to an upgrade in the developer's uh, platform, but in no means it has a, a change uh, or difference into the functionalities of the program. Okay, uh, so you see here I have been uh, move around, moving around already in the program. You see here this information screen here where some action is required has been moved up from all at the bottom to more in view uh, of the user. So that is uh, quite better as well. Um, I have just opened a new project. I uh, completed the building properties. I am brought to the second uh, uh, logical group being the floor and I'm editing this floor to select a new uh, overlay drawing that I will use to reproduce this uh, uh, floor plan. So I'm taking this uh, ground floor. You know that I uh, have to um, scale this ground floor, so I will make this uh, line here. Um, okay, I can zoom in. I will make this line here 40 meter. 40 meters. So in doing so, my uh, drawing has been uh, scaled um, to. Um, the known uh, dimensions. Voila, okay. Uh, in confirming this, this will be just the uh, bitmap that I will use. When I confirm this, uh, we will see that that um, red square, eh, our outdoor wall in VRV Pro, has been put on the uh, drawing on, on top of the bitmap. And you see, if I move it, the bitmap moves along with it. It has been locked. The overlay has been locked. Now, instead of in the old days having to right click outside of the red rectangle, set bitmap origin, and so on, we simply unlock and we move that red square to nicely to be nicely on top of the bitmap. Now, uh, another uh, small innovation has been in the editor palette, for instance, where we can make this red square transparent. So you would see actually the underlaying drawing, so that it would be easier to, or to position rather your, wind your windows on the drawing. So you can uh, use this or not. It's up to you. You can toggle it on in that uh, uh, so popular editor palette that can uh, be so useful uh, to us. Okay. Now, okay, um, this is now in the case we would use a bitmap, a scaled bitmap. But uh, we have, of course, the beautiful possibility also to work now with an AutoCAD overlay drawing. That is what I want to change now. Uh, I go to uh, edit this uh, project to select a new uh, kind of overlay and I will select, you see this DWG uh, drawing, this is the AutoCAD drawing uh, that I um, want to use. When this AutoCAD drawing opens, you see that okay, I can uh, select here a scale uh, in which I want to use. So, uh, scale 1 in 100, or a scale in 1, 1 in 50, or 1 in 200, or whatever uh, scale that you uh, that would be indicated on the drawing itself, you can set here. Eh? Or you could also use a custom scale. The custom scale is the one that we were used to to work with a red line, you remember? But to set this red line in an AutoCAD, so often we will find back, eh, we will find back uh, this uh, possibility of using these uh, grid or the, these grid lines, these in this case the green lines here. Now I have measured them uh, in AutoCAD and I know that uh, when I would draw a red line here where I would um, connect f uh, three uh, of these uh, green lines, uh, every distance in between would represent 17 meters. So linking three of these green lines, I would in fact have uh, quite a good reference length uh, of about uh, 51 meters. 
Hmm? So you know the bigger this length, the more accurate we will work. So uh, you can uh, scale again that AutoCAD drawing uh, either with uh, setting the scale or with using our custom scale. Good, I have done so. Hey, this way my uh, AutoCAD uh, let's say gateway in um, VRV Pro um, is closed and now I can work in the AutoCAD drawing. The AutoCAD drawing, okay, I'm getting it here. Uh, what will happen now if I zoom out? Uh, you see that I can again move that AutoCAD um, or that red square of us, uh, uh, locking it and I can bring it to the drawing. Again, I unlock so I can only move the red floor plan and I can move it um, on the bitmap. I can zoom in of course and uh, position it right where it should be so right on top of the reference corner in this drawing. Yeah. So this is the um, simplest way. Once I finished of course I locked this overlay. I locked this overlay so again now the, the uh, red square, if I can call it this way, and my under layer will move at the same time. So, um, what I can do now, of course, is to move my um, corners actually to the most remote uh, position uh, to stretch uh, that floor plan uh, and to uh, add eventually uh, new corners on that floor plan by uh, stretching these new position. That is what I will do now while I'm pausing this video. So now this uh, floor plan has been made. Floor plan? No. Part of that floor plan because I just uh, have drawn the outer wall of that uh, floor plan. To draw these inner walls, you see there's so much rubble on there, uh, I want to simplify this drawing. That is why I can right click outside of the floor plan to edit this, uh, go to my um, overlay to edit it and here now what I can do is to untick layers in which I'm not interested in uh, so I can simplify uh, my drawing by I keep that zone grid that's quite interesting that zone grid but loudspeakers I don't know uh, lighting light fittings I don't know ceiling types the present air conditioning I don't want to know I don't want to see them so ceiling tiles I remove as well um, and you see, I simplify the drawing to, uh, of course we already knew, uh, used to work with it, to the uh, bare essentials that I need to reproduce my floor plan. And in this case here to make the complement of information by adding the indoor walls as well in my drawing. Okay, so that's about it. Yes, I can confirm this and now I see that uh, indeed my uh, floor plan has been uh, simplified and that uh, very easily now I can draw my indoor walls. And again, in pausing this, I will draw my indoor walls. So I have redrawn um, my indoor walls in a pale green so that you can see them well. And in fact, I no longer need that uh, overlay drawing so I can hide this overlay drawing. And you see, I put some rooms unconditioned because I just want to make a selection, rapid selection for you here now uh, in these units. I made a load calculation. I know the different loads I need to install. I selected as a default unit a large duct unit. So I can simply uh, click on my floor plan to position large duct units on this uh, floor plan. One is not enough, two is enough, but I want a better air distribution, so I add some. I won't bother in aligning them. I will make my piping diagram right away. You see, the simplified piping is so easy. We click first on the longest, on the shortest. If no error message, we know that we have no difficulties whatsoever uh, in respecting the piping rules. I can continue to make all the rest of my connections. I have a uh, uh, installation that has been completely uh, selected, even editor palette. I can even indicate the show label and show number, uh, used to be in file options. Now you have uh, the choice, either you show both of these uh, piping labels, the label and the numbering, or you untick them. But you see um, that the whole installation has been uh, selected.
Now that I have done so, I'm finished working in uh, VRV Pro, let's say, and I can uh, transfer all of this to AutoCAD. Quite simple. Like we were making the report, building reports, I have now also the possibility save in AutoCAD. Now, save in AutoCAD, notice that the program will add the prefix VRV Pro uh, before your original drawing. So your original drawing remains as it is, but you can uh, export this into a new made drawing. So what I do now, I simply save, eh? I save this, and my uh, drawing, of course my exercise will be validated before I can save, but I'm getting the message successfully updated. Thank you. Now what I can do, I can close this uh, file here now, and go to AutoCAD, uh, to uh, that file location, and open that AutoCAD file. Now unfortunately I don't have... Uh, uh, AutoCAD on this uh, station where I'm making this video, so I had to uh, go to grab them in PowerPoint, but here they are. So, um, what we see is that um, we have the possibility to uh, open this now in AutoCAD, and you see the simple uh, representation actually, simply uh, the out indoor unit, the piping, even the pipe number, the names, the joints, etc. Everything was put into uh, AutoCAD. You will even see that here if I open, if I would open the um, layers, and uh, the layers, that we all exported the items out of VRV Pro and gave a, f a prefix of VRV Pro with the different items that we can see in this uh, AutoCAD drawing. Now, uh, back uh, to um, back to the project here, because what we can also do, for instance, if I would move this unit here, this uh, unit out of the way, I'm working in VRV Pro now, what I'm seeing, uh, uh, I moved this unit, but if I consider the uh, floor plan that is underneath, you see <laughs> that unit would still be in position. So actually, if I'm making corrections, if I'm making changes, what I will simply do is to again um, report save in AutoCAD uh, to that same AutoCAD file. I can also uh, have the changes, but I can also uh, export all the layers, which you, you know, the ones that I switched off to, sw to make it uh, simpler. I can uh, export all the layers again to that new drawing, so save. Of course, a validation to see if there are no errors in it, and has been successfully updated. So what you would see then, and again back to the PowerPoint, is that um, we would have this third view here, this third image, uh, where uh, we would see that uh, all of the items have been copied for the sake of having a better visi visibility. I simply highlighted the button here for indoor unit and I changed the color to red so that you see that again this is the outdoor unit and these are the six uh, indoor units that we had in our file. So in fact we worked in VRV Pro but we directly acted on the AutoCAD drawing without having AutoCAD. So you see that um, uh, all of this uh, is simply in AutoCAD and uh, that I uh, have moved the uh, outer unit uh, in this uh, new drawing. Good. This is uh, what I wanted to show you um, for this uh, update in uh, version 8.2. I wish you the very best in the use of VRV Pro. For me, I retire 1st of April, so bye-bye.